keep my keep pose you keep my keep when it's pose you my keep my keep when it's pose you my keep my keep pose you when it's pose you Okay, gonna try this again. A little bit upset because I recorded the whole video and nothing of it took and also cut my head off. So we're gonna try this again at a brand new location uh, just because I was working on some drone stuff and didn't have enough time to shoot inside the studio. So hopefully the audio isn't horrible and hopefully the picture quality is not terrible because I'm using the front facing camera on an iPhone. Things I wanted to talk to you about today is the idea of what you should be doing for your customers. Um, one of the things I've been running into lately with customers is, uh, especially real estate agents, is they, they say, oh, well, my customer wants X, Y, and Z, or should I do X, Y, and Z for this property? And it's very confusing because at the end of the day, I'm thinking, well, you should do the same thing for every customer. Um, I know I treat every customer exactly the same whether they're you know a hundred dollar customer or they're a ten thousand dollar customer now let's be honest a ten thousand dollar customer I'm you just naturally you're gonna be a, a little bit different but at the end of the day I'm giving them the same quality photos I'm giving them the same quality content I'm giving them everything that they asked for so why do something different and so when this comes up is usually a lot of real estate agents they say oh well I'm gonna do just simple pictures for the cheap home because it's only a you know hundred thousand dollar home two hundred thousand dollar home uh, and then I'll save the 3d tours for the more expensive ones when I have more of a commission and it, it's kind of confusing for me because well yes I want the business and I want them to do it for every single one but the the part that's confusing is why would you treat the person who's a $200,000 uh, $200, customer less than the one million dollar customer um, in my eyes I see what well, you why don't you do consistently the same thing for each one you know if you're gonna get drone photos for just this one why don't you do it on your other ones and uh, so it's a it's a little bit confusing and you know, I, a lot of real estate agents say, well, we have to pay for it with our own money before we get paid. I'm like, I do the same thing too. You think sponsoring events and, you know, doing these videos and spending time is getting me paid before? No. Customers aren't like, oh, uh, Scott, I'm going to give you a 3D tour and then you can come sponsor the event. I have to do the same thing as you guys. And so... It's very, very weird and interesting because also at the end of the day, the pricing is a gradual scale for photography. Generally speaking, for lower end homes, because they're smaller, it's cheaper. So $100, let's say, for a 1,000 square foot home versus for a 10,000 square foot home, it might be a 1,000 bucks. So it gets gradual, but you also make more commissions. So why aren't you doing this consistency? And then, you're supposed to be representing yourself. You're supposed to be the brand. Why would you do different things for different homes when you're a brand yourself? So these are my questions, and what I, I'm curious as to what people think about this. Why would you change? Why would you do something different for each home? Why would it? Sorry about that. Phone definitely overheated. Uh, so my question for you guys is: Why make different? Do different things for different customers why not keep it consistent why not make a brand and do as much as you can always for them so that they're getting the same value that each customer is treated the same now I don't care if you don't do a 3d tour on every single home but are you bringing the same value as the customer who has a smaller home versus somebody who has a bigger home and that's my question for you guys all right thank you guys so much I'll see you guys next time Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me so that you can see all the updates in every video that comes out. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.